Some of you guys have asked for an update on the both the home generator and the camping generator. So here's an update on the camping generator. We're doing this at the shooting range by the way. warm up for just a minute. That might not be a good idea. But we'll find out. Just the refrigerator and the battery charger. I hope I have enough light. What I have running right now is the refrigerator, which it's actually running on DC, but anytime you apply AC, it automatically switches over to the converter. So the AC actually is powering the refrigerator. Now, the best thing to do if you're actually boondocking is to switch over to gas for the refrigerator, assuming you have a three-way refrigerator, which I do. I forgot to bring my true RMS meter, but I have my Fluke 75, so hopefully that will work. So I'm going to check the voltage with lights and refrigerator running. One twenty-two five. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this off because with that adapter, thirty thirty amp to twenty amp or thirty amp to fifteen amp adapter is really not a good thing to run air conditioning on and it's often recommended that you not do so by the dealers. It's not so much that uh, a small air conditioner, which this is 9200 BTU, it's not so much that a small air conditioner is an overload for a 15 amp circuit because it's not but you don't need to be running a bunch of stuff plus that. Okay, it just came up to 123.5, came up by one volt. And it should not drop below, uh, say, 109 volts, 109, 110 volts with the air conditioner running. And since we're here to test the generator, Let's actually turn off some of these lights. Turn off that one back there anyway. And we'll start with just the fan. One twenty three six. As I mentioned, I turned this off. Now this doesn't have a compressor. Unlike a home refrigerator, this is not compressor based. For you guys who don't know how these work, they just apply heat to the coil, which is a, it's an ammonia refrigerant. They apply heat to the bottom of it and it cools the top of it. And that heat can be in the form of a 12 volt or 120 volt heating strip 
or a propane burner, or in this case, all three, but only one at a time. Low fan, high fan. Okay, let's start the compressor. Unfortunately, they don't make an absorption air conditioner that I know of. Low cool. Hmm. Actually went up. It's showing 124 volts now. One twenty four and a half. I guess the generator probably sped up when it sensed that big low. It's definitely cooling. So we'll give it a few minutes to cool off. 